Welcome to Hoot TV News. I am Chastity Burns. Here's your news and announcements you need for today. New National Beta Club invitees have received an email from Ms. Vaughn with directions to pay your fee and join. Payment is due February 27th. Please stop by room 214 if you have questions. Our next home game for basketball is February 3rd this Thursday. Then on February 8th, it's senior night. Come out and let's celebrate our athletic seniors. All games start at 6 p.m., boys at 7.30. You can also catch the games right here on Hoot TV Live. Well, it's Black History Month, and we want to check out what students know about black history. Let's take a look. I think Black History Month is a good tribute to people who've gone through a lot, and mostly just African Americans, and the way life was back then, and how, how far African Americans have come since we, we first got taken away from where we first lived. Um, honestly, what it means to me is, like, honestly, I think it's just bigger than black and white. Um, it's a problem with the way of life so far, like, right now. Like, can't change overnight is what I'm saying. But, honestly, Black History Month, you know, one of the best months of the year is, you know, celebrate black history. It's something that needs to be more uh, noted, I think, in my opinion. And nothing, it just doesn't get enough coverage, honestly. Do you think there's any problems with be Black History Month? I think the entire month is a problem, to be honest. The fact that we ignore black people for the entire year and then February we just start like, oh, they exist now, let's go talk about them, celebrate them. It's pretty much you just place them in one month and leave them until you want to talk about them, really. Uh, it's a time of the year uh, where we celebrate uh, the civil rights movement and the struggles for equality. Uh, it's a time to enjoy um, people like uh, our advocates like MLK, uh, Booker T. Washington, and W.E.B. Du Bois. Great job, Owls. Well, this month, we will pick a hero from black history. Dallas, what person did you have? Thanks, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about Black History Month, since it is February, and we're going to be talking about one of the greatest civil rights activists to exist, Martin Luther King. Hope you enjoy our segment. Thanks. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in the south of the United States in Atlanta, Georgia, in 1929. King was born in a time of extreme racial prejudice. The Jim Crow laws had been implemented into the South before even he was born, putting him and anyone who looked like him in a very unfortunate position. King's father and grandfather were both pastors at a nearby church, which inspired King to pursue a career and also becoming a pastor. This caused him to travel north to go to school and study. In college, King studied a multitude of different things like sociology, theology, ethics, and philosophy. While up north, he noticed that while racial tensions were still prevalent, they were way better up north than they were down back south. After finishing his work and becoming a pastor, he would return back down south to become a co-pastor with his father. He would also had other things in mind and would also change the direction of the nation forever. 